Hello guys, my name is Peter and in this episode of Axis Tutorials I'm going to teach you the fundamentals of 3D. By the way, if you don't know what Axis Tutorials is, it's a personal project of mine about creating tutorials for beginners about 3D computer graphics. So let's get started now. First of all, I want to tell you what I'm going to show you in this video. I'm going to teach you what's a dimension, what's a two-dimensional and a three-dimensional object. I will show you examples about objects in 3D space. I will show you how to define coordinates in 3D space and I'm going to sorry, show you more, more info about 3D. So some random info. Now let's get started with it. First of all, I want to tell you what's the dimension because we are talking about dimensions all the time, 3D, 2D, but let's give it a definition now. So according to Wikipedia, in physics and mathematics, the dimension of a space or object is informally defined as the minimum number of coordinates needed to specify any point within it. So this sounds a little bit complicated, so I'm going to explain it now a little bit deeper. Now, what we have here is a simple coordinating system as the ones we've seen at school. As we know, just a second to turn on my pen. This is it. Choose black color. So, as we know, this type of coordinating systems have two, has, sorry, has two axes. X axis and Y axis. We also know that the point where these two cross each other is called point O and it has coordinates 0, 0. Like this point, point O, any point on this coordinating system has its own coordinates. Like, for example, let's take this point here. Let's name it point N. We, we see that this point is apart from the rectangular A, B, C, D. So to define these points, we need two numbers, its coordinates. So the first number is the number of units on the X axis. So it's one, two, three, like this. Now we see that this point N is moved, it's a little bit moved to the right with three units. So this is the number of units on the x axis or its x coordinates. So we see that its x coordinates is three. So we write three. Now, the next thing we need to define where this point is, is its y coordinates. So it's the same like the x coordinates, but on the y axis. We see that it's one, two, three, four, four and a half. So we just write four and a half. We put put it inside brackets, and this is the coordinates of point n. And this, this is all we need to understand and clearly know where this point is located. We don't need more numbers. That's it. If we get these two numbers, we will know the exact location of point N. It's three on the right and 4.5 up. If the numbers were negative, it would be three in the left and 4.5 down. So that's it. If, for example, we had only one number, like if we say we have X three, we would know that the point would be somewhere here, but there are infinity, infinity, sorry. There are a lot of possibilities for this point on the y axis. You see that there is a whole new line where this point can be. So we need a second number to define it. And when we have the second number like here, the place where these two lines cross each other is our point. And this is all we need. And this is what I mean 
by the minimum number of coordinates needed to define a point. Now, the minimum number of coordinates needed to define this point is 2. So, this point is a part of a two-dimensional object, like this rectangular. This rectangular is a two-dimensional object. Now, let me tell you about more about... Oh, sorry. I... Okay. Let me t tell you more about two-dimensional objects. So, two-dimensional object is any object which points can be defined with only two coordinates, x and y. Now, here are some examples. We, we've all seen this in school, like rectangular, square, line, circle and a triangle. These are the basic two-dimensional objects and all points in these objects can be defined with only two numbers, the x and the y coordinates. And that's it. That's all we need to define these objects. So let's get further. Uh, and let me tell you about what is a three-dimensional object. A three-dimensional object is any object which points can be defined with only three coordinates, x, y, and z. Now, uh, I'll explain this in a minute, but first let me give you some examples of three-dimensional objects. Now, here you can see a sphere, a cube, a cylinder, and a cone. These are perfect examples of three-dimensional objects. Three-dimensional objects also are the prism and the pyramid. So we've all seen them in our lives, we've seen them, we see them every day, all around us. And I think you now understand what is a three-dimensional object. But now let's talk about its coordinates a bit. Now, like I said, it needs three numbers to define any point in a three-dimensional object, x, y, and z. So, not like the two-dimensional objects where we need only two numbers. And here is it y. Now this is a three-dimensional coordinating system. It looks a bit like the two-dimensional, but it has a, a third axis called z. This z, the z axis. Now, to define a point inside a three-dimensional coordinating system, we need all three numbers, the x, the y, and the z. Now, if we had only the x and the y, we would get this point here, like you see that x is here, y is here, you'd get this point here, but our point, let's call it n again, it's up here, so it's w, okay, this will be w. Our point w is up here, but only with the x and y coordinates, we think that it's here, so we need a third axis to define the exact location of our point. So here comes z, which says that our point is up here, and now we have the exact location of point W. Now, this uh, prism inside a 3D coordinating system, and any point inside it can be defined with the three numbers x, y, and z. That's why it's three dimensional, because it needs three numbers to define, to define its points. Now, uh, let me show how if you are if you are making it by hand if you're drawing the 3d coordinating system by hand let me show you how to do it now first thing you need to do is to create the simple coordinating system with the x and the y this is it the x and this is the y it's sorry it's a little bit ugly but don't mind it so here we have the x axis and here we have the y axis now we to I told you that we have a third axis now, the z axis. It is drawn like this, and it's called z. Now, if we have two coordinates, x and y, we get points somewhere here. And we need the z coordinates to say if this point is closer to us or, or closer to us, or, or it is further to us than us. Okay, sorry. You understand me. I hope so, and that's it, how you define coordinates in 3D space. It's not that hard, it, you, need, you just need three numbers, and it's very easy actually, and uh, we'll be using it a lot, so remember it. Okay, let's get now 
further. More about 3D, well, I can tell you a lot more about 3D, but I don't want to because we will need to get more deeper into mathematics and I don't like to do, I don't like mathematics that much and we won't need it actually. By now, this is all we need, That this is actually more than enough and if we need something further when we get more advanced, I will teach you, but for now, this is more than enough, so don't worry. And that's it. I hope you liked it, and if you do, you can subscribe and for more tutorials, which will be upcoming. And by the way, my next tutorial is going to be named Learning About Computer 3D Graphics, where I will tell you what is 3D computer graphics and where it is used. And of course, if you want, you can check out the playlist on YouTube. This is the the big red thing at the bottom of the video is linked to that playlist. And on this playlist, I will put all my next tutorials. And again, I hope you liked it. If you do subscribe, stay tuned for more, for more tutorials. And I hope I'll see you next time. Bye bye.